Hey guys, this is Bombic and welcome to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to perform phishing using the cross-site scripting. Uh, I know you must be wondering, is it really possible? The answer is yes. Uh, in this video, we're going to also uh, going to see a little demonstration on how you can actually perform the phishing. Uh, so, uh, phishing is really attacker uh, does uh, you know this sort of attack to acquire sensitive informations like a username password credit card information and how really they do is uh, uh, suppose there's a bank website uh, like a www.bank.com say so what they're gonna do they're gonna clone the site and uh, then what they'll do is they'll uh, host the entire website or which is sort of like you know a fake website look exactly same as a bank.com on to their own domain but it's very hard to notice for you know people uh, so you can see the example so like this is the right banking URL and on the right you have www.bank.com it's very hard to notice uh, when you are just like you know uh, when you see the uh, UI and everything uh, similar that you have been used to seeing it so people generally you know uh, provide information or, or try to uh, log in on the on the website which is sort of controlled by the attacker so this is a kind of longer process to perform the phishing but if you find the cross-site scripting on the website that you're testing then you are in luck because it's much easier to perform so it's as easy as like you know you just need to change the action attribute uh, so like for example every form has an action attribute which is being called when the form is submitted uh, in this case once you change the value to this action attribute and you can replace with the your control domain and you don't have to clone the site you don't have to like you know make up the fake domain or anything like that it's as simple as that so uh, I'll, I'll show you the demo and then I guess uh, the things will be uh, rather clear for this demo we're gonna use the Bob Spit, uh, which is a proxy tool uh, don't worry if that doesn't make any sense right now we'll do a full go through on how the Bob Spit, Bob Spit really operates and configured and etc etc uh, then I also have one virtual machine uh, which is sort of attacker control machine and I also have you know uh, the same side that we have been doing the demonstration uh, previously uh, so let's get started uh, first off uh, what I'm gonna show you is uh, action attribute so uh, if you see in this one alright so for this particular form the action attribute is index.php then page is called dns lookup.php so when you provide the information here and click on the lookup dns it's gonna call this page and whatever the information uh, being submitted will go to this page what we really want to do is two things one we want to insert uh, you know of pretty much we want to change this ui a little bit so probably like you know add the username and password field so when somebody lands on this page they'll see okay i need to put the username and password to go past the screen and we'll also uh, change the action attribute and we'll change the you know path to the machine that we have control so when they provide the information uh, and submit the data it will go to our uh, system rather than the uh, the one which is hosted by any website uh, so to get started this uh, let me so I'm gonna turn the intercept on and uh, so I'm just gonna do the test now as you can see uh, the host here is 192.168.138.150 uh, so the data is going to uh, the website uh, like you know where the application is running but we want to change that so what we're gonna do is first off let me uh, find out the IP so this is my virtual machine uh, so here the IP is 192.168.138.151 in the previous uh, video we saw the uh, netcat so uh, I'm just gonna start the netcat listening on the port 80 if you are not sure about the netcat uh, we did the previous video I guess in 
the cross-site scripting uh, probably reflected cross-site scripting so check out that video um, so we have this running now what we need to do is we need to insert our own field and we also need to uh, kind of you know change the UI a little bit so for that what I have done here is uh, so instead of you know right now the form action is this but here we have changed the action to the IP address which is uh, of the VM virtual machine and we'll just insert this payload and assuming this is the field which is vulnerable to cross-site scripting now what I'm gonna do is uh, intercept on look up DNS so you can see uh, we now have successfully so this is the request where we are uh, inserting the payload so I'm just gonna forward this one and see okay so now we have a new login screen pops up here because of our payload and now what user is gonna do they're gonna put the username and password they think okay this is how I need to go forward uh, and we'll click on the logon and now you really see uh, the information is going to our control virtual machine so if I forward this and let's uh, look it up here and now as you can see we got the information here that the user has submitted uh, the phishing is so successful uh, the reason being is it's the weakest link for uh, you know the human uh, I, have, I have seen many clients many organization also my relatives are getting fished it sounds so simple but then it's so complicated because if you are in a rush or something you do not check the domain name or something you just click on the uh, link and then you know probably uh, just put the information without validating whether it's the right website or not uh, the best thing uh, to do uh, to avoid be getting fished is type the URL uh, uh, like you know manually to the URL bar instead of by clicking uh, from the third-party website uh, because you will be redirected to the right side uh, if you type it manually but so that's uh, about it I want to talk about in this video uh, probably uh, next video we'll, we'll see some other techniques on how to exploit the cross-site scripting if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you uh, get updated uh, videos and new videos notifications every time uh, thank you for watching and thank you for your time